Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, today is July 8th and today is another Friday and today I'm going to give you a... Uh, I remember I talked about this um, maybe quite some time ago is Simon Property, right? So uh, a lot of investor or readers may immediately respond is, hey look, the stock price dropped a lot, right? So, but not so quick, not necessary, right? So, um, I'm going to um, give you some introduction first, right? I will explain in detail on my Hong Kong channels about the weeks, right? There are many weeks in American stock market, like uh, property weeks, like summer property is for malls, right? For shopping malls. And then there's like um, reality income and store capital and agree reality. And some are not property, but they are weak, like Equinus, they are for data center, right? So a lot of um, investor then they may be at their middle age, like me, right? So they are looking for dividend. I don't know if you have your own property for rent out or not, right? I have a small property that already went out and then is getting the rank every every month. And um, a lot of um, people like us in the middle age or is going to retire, then they, you know that, then that is not easy for you to buy a property. It's very expensive and you need to pay the mortgage. And then if you have um, one building, then it's... Um, very troublesome for you to handle everything every lease right every um what what can I say every um customer they have different requirements right a lot of things for you to repair and then for the um management fee and for the maintenance right so there is one thing that maybe probably you can do it is to buy the weeks right you can buy the weeks, then you can enjoy the dividend. Of course, you have to pay the handling fee, but it's same as you have to contribute your time when you have your own property, right? So a lot of people that they are buying the weeks is to um, just to earn the dividend, the high dividend. And then for the stock price, oh, it's not very important. Just not dropping is okay. Just maybe one year increase one or two percent. But then you continue to give them um, dividend about 4 or 5% per year, then they are very happy. That is for long term for the cash, right? So I think summer property now is a very good one, right? So I will explain um, in detail for summer property, um, store capital and reality income, agree reality or equinus in my Hong Kong channel. I think you should have your... Um, one of them in your portfolio, right? One of them in your portfolio. So no need to very worry on them stock price performance. As long as they give you the same dividend, it's okay. Just like some property. I will explain um, in detail in a minute, right? So our Falcon portfolio this week, um, the stock market doing better, right? That is good news for us. And then uh, our portfolio, Falcon portfolio, rise back to 48%. So if you have any stock or any any company you want, if I can, then I will explain in the program, right? You can leave your message under the YouTube or you can directly email to me by usstockmarketweekly at gmail.com. Well, that is our... Falcon 350,000 portfolio and then we rise back to 48% right for about today is um, now is about 20, 27, 28 months already. And this is our covering. Simon property is uh, more weak. That means what the property she owns is shopping malls. She ran out the shopping malls to different, like you can see on the screen, right? Gap, JCPenney, a lot of retails, right? So at a very good, very good position in American states. 
So she is earning a lot of rents and also she invested in Asia weeks, Asia weeks and Euro weeks. That means if you own salmon property stock, then you own a stake of it. So you have a stake on all the property she owns in the whole world. Of course, you then get the dividend. So yesterday, Dow Jones raised uh, 346 points. And Nasdaq raised it, mm -hmm, not bad, right? 2%, 259 points. And we can clearly see that the US 10 year Treasury yield on the left hand corner, left right corner is one week before, and then another one is yesterday. You can see that the US 10 year Treasury yield is decreasing a little bit. So, whenever it, dec it decreases, then the stock market has a good rebound. So, a lot of investors, right? Hang on for a second, right? They, you, you may say that, hey, hey, guy, look at the stock prices performance. It dropped a lot. It dropped a lot since this year, right? I can see that. I can see that, right? But um, let me explain to you, right? Then we see that the dividend yield now is about 7%, right? So we know that for um, a stock price, for stock prices, right, it included the income. The income to summer property is the rent, of course, right? And then another one is the property price. No matter it's a shopping mall, it's for residential, right? It's for outlet, then it's the property price. The property price must decrease. Whenever you assess the property price, it must decrease because the dividend, because of the dividend rate is increasing, right? The property price, the property market is weak, but the rent may not be in the same way because of the inflation period, right? So if you not look at the stock prices, you just look at for a long term, you just look at it for a long term, then you can see that in the long term, it still rise up. And then for every year, you have at least 5% to now is nearly 7% for the dividend. That's not bad, right? That's what we own a property for. That's what we invest for a property for is for the dividend. And then only the property have a slow increase in the property price is okay to us, right? And this is from end of last year, that means 2021. Then we can see that the property portfolio of summer property at the end of last year, right? 95 shopping malls, 69 premium outlets, 14 mills, six lifestyle centers, and 15 other retail properties in America. Across the 37 American states, right but don't forget that within a shopping mall she can have more than 100 tenants right so there's a lot of money that she'll collecting per every month because she's went out a lot of properties total is 199 income centers so we can take a look on the global property portfolio this is for global, right? For global, right? You can see that for international, she has 33, 33 units, right? And what's that is the um, top man reality group, which consists owns 24 regional, super regional, and outlet malls in the US and Asia, maybe including Hong Kong, right? So um, when we have the summer property stock, we have invested globally to get into rent. Right, this is more clear than is NOI is the net operating income. So you can see that for the net income, um, 72.3% is from US malls and premium outlets. And then is for 89 is from international, and then it's from the bills, right? From 11.4 is from the bills. And then 
another is from Asia. Then on the right hand side is only for the America. The income percentage from different states of America. You can see that some is Florida, some is California, some is New York, some is New Jersey. I'm not going to um, read out one by one, then you can take a look by yourself. So, um, few ways for a week to increase its um, profiting power. One is to putting up the rents, we know that, right? And another one is to acquire more shopping malls or more land for you to build the shopping malls or to buy a shopping mall, right? And then the third way is to invest in another week. So you can have the shares all over, maybe in Europe and then in Asia. So you can see that even in 2020 and 2021, at that time is not a good time for everyone, right? Because there is the COVID-19. But she is not stopping acquiring more property in America and also in Europe or in Asia. So you can see that the investment for over past eight year or five year is more than five billion and then eight billion US dollar. All of them is used in acquire another um, buildings and other properties for getting more profit, for getting more rent income. And then you can see that then is for um, some of them is for very famous shops like Apple, for AMC, like uh, Omega, then we all know that. And then um, I tell you that in between in 2020 and 2021, the upper year, a lot of people said saying that, okay, shopping malls gone because all the people have the habits now change it to buying things online. So the rent will decrease, right? And then the shopping mall will become less and less because no people need a physical shop, but that did not happen, right? That did not happen because Americans opened it for, opened it from the COVID-19 for today is nearly one year. It did not happen. Like the PayPal and like the Visa and like the Master, they have um, better business income than before for MasterCard and for Visa card, right? So that's only rumors, not real. Just what people think, right? People need to go out. People need to go out and shop. People need to go out and shop and buy things, right? It's not only for them to um, sit at home and then look at all the things through the camera. No, not in this way. A lot of people, they need to go out, right? So we go for another screen. So this screen, you can see the portfolio investment over the past eight years, right? Eight billion US dollars, right? And then for the past five years, five billion, right? And the residential units increased at 4,500. And then how many commercial office space been increased? It? Given in the hard time, one million square feet. And then hotel rooms, 1,500. Right, so she is still ongoing. And the only thing that for the danger of all weeks is for the recession, right? If for the recession, then less people buy things, right? But the point is, if for recession, then every industry has the problem. Retail has the problem. Um, the chips industry, semiconductor industry has the problem, right? For the, um, for the Boeing, Right, for Airbus, for everything. Whenever there's a recession, then everything has a problem, right? So um, I don't think that we should worry that much, right? I don't think so. Then the only thing is that you find a very safe investment and then invest your money at a safe point, right? So we look at the earnings from some property of the last quarter first. This performance is from... Um, this year, January and then uh, February and then March, right? Three months. I think the um, next quarter's performance will be issued very soon in this month, right? So we look at the revenue compared to one year before. Nearly the same. This is in thousand, right? You can see that nearly is nearly the same. 1.29 billion compared to 1.239 billion one year before, nearly the same, right? 
Then we look at the expense, right? We look at the expense, very important. Right, the expense, the total operating expense, right? 67.5 million US dollar. Increased it a little bit. One year before, yes, 63.5 million US dollar. I will give her a pass, right? That's okay, right? And then we look at the uh, most important part is the net income. You can see that nearly the same. 42.6 million US dollar compared to one year before. 44.5 million US dollar nearly the same, just decreased a little bit. So you can see that for the um, net income per share is US dollar 1.3 compared to one year before is 1.36. So that's why the share price drops, because there's no increment. But we all know that, right, for the first of this year, there's the inflation. Inflation, recession, gasoline price, oil prices, and then the salary, all kinds of strike in Russia, in UK, everything in Shanghai, right? So I think she can keep it. It's still okay, right? It's okay, okay already. And this one shows the funds from operation, FFO, right? You can see that, right, from the past year's quarters, beat, beat, beat the consensus. And only in, um, actually, the uh, first quarter may not be now, right? May not be now. And that is the estimation, right? You can see that the um, 2022s in the middle, Based by 0 0.04, and then they focus it will go on until to next year or end of this year, it will become positive, right? I think it makes sense, right? Because the inflation will go on for at least from I think it's to um, at least to the last quarter of this year, right? It makes sense, but you can see that actually the mix is very small, right? Only 0 0.04, right? And I have recapped the 10 years data so we can take a clear look, right? We can see that for the total revenue, that is from now, we go back to 12 months. You can see that the revenue is nearly the same, right? Nearly the same. I think that's okay already. But because now is not the economy of the whole world is not in a good shape. Everything, in, everything is very expensive. Everything is expensive, then I don't think that she can put up the rent very easily, right? But at least, right, I forget to explain that America is a very well developed country, right? And then all of those weeks I have mentioned, like summer property, like um, agree reality, reality income, store capital, and they already take the best position in every state of America. It's not easy. The land is limited, we all know that, right? It's not easy for you to find a good position and then to build a kingdom like them. They take the good, they take the advantage, they take the money already. They have the asset, they have the cash, right? So you can, it's not easy for you to build another kingdom like them because they take all the advantages position already right so we can see the operating expense that means the operating income um nearly the same as one year before you can see that right and the upper one is the net income so the net income then is the figures are very close right from now to um 12 months backward and then the net income is 200 2000 230 compared to one year before 2,249, nearly the same, right? And then the most important things that we care about is the debts. And we can see that the long-term long debt issued, right, is nearly the same. And then the total debt issued is um, decreased a little bit, right? 8,108 compared to one year before 9,251. And then the long-term debt we pay, and then the total debt we pay, I think it's okay. That means the debt is not increasing, right? Everything needed the same as one year before. 
And then this one, we can see the cash flow, right? How about the cash flow? The cash flow is um, decreased a little bit from last year. Now it's 3,553. And then one year before is 3,637. Did it the same. So uh, we do not need to worry on the financial situation of salmon property. So we can see the payout ratio, right? It decreased it in 2021 because of the COVID-19, we know that, right? It decreased it. And then now, if we walk back to 12 years before, 12 months before, then you can see that it start to increase. The payout now in the last quarter is 51% already. And then in the right-hand side, you can see the interest rate increased it. Now the interest rate is close to 7% because the stock price decreased, it, right? So we have to look at the physical value of the money she will put as the dividend. So now it's increased a little bit. If the income is nearly the same, right? We can see that the net income is nearly the same. So if that increased, that means the dividend physically increased a little bit than one year before. I think that's okay, right? So I will explain in more details in my Hong Kong channels but both the summer property and then the store capital and then the agreed reality, reality income and then the echoness for whatever, we, whatever weeks because uh, a lot of readers then want me to introduce more and they think it's more safe, right? They think that stock is more safe and then they just want the stock, okay that one one of two year, two year or three year just increase one of two percent is okay for the stock value. But just give them the dividend. One year more than one year more than one year, right? A lot of readers want me to introduce that. So I will introduce those stock in detail in my Hong Kong channel. So don't miss it, right? Okay, so today thanks for watching and then if you like this video please give me a like and then give me a comment and then share to your fans. Then you can please subscribe to my channel and then press the bell icon next to it. So whenever there's new video uploaded, then you will get informed immediately, right? Okay, I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. Let's see you next week. Bye-bye.